nice and tall deep breath in reaching all the way up and exhale one more huge zen like breath in and exhale that's probably the last zen thing you're gonna do for the next 30 minutes guys all right we're gonna start off this morning in an excellent squat hold this whole morning warm-up is gonna be a squat hold what the squat exactly okay so in that squat hold feet shoulder width apart knees right above those ankles drop that booty down roll those shoulders back engage those hip flexors all right guys we're gonna stay there while i find my <laughs> stay there while i find my watch and start the timer and go as fast as you can we're just holding it okay staying nice and low and while you guys are staying nice and low i got a quote for you guys Commitment means staying loyal to what you said you were gonna do long after the mood you set it in has left you. So we all know how new things are exciting. Even if you're starting a new workout regimen, you're excited to get using whatever equipment you have or getting ready for that new you. Now, Michael Jackson stands up on those toes, all the way up on those tippy toes while still staying in that squat hole. Oh. Like this. <laughs> Right? In that Michael Jackson squat hold, up on those tippy toes, as high as you can on those tippy toes. So while we're being all excited, we commit to doing things that two weeks later, we're like, why am I doing this? Right? This morning, yesterday, there was 40 people on the, uh, now we go to those push-ups. So you'll fall forward, don't smash your face into the ground, push back, so squat push-ups. So fall forward, catch yourself, and push it back, warming up the shoulders. All right, good. Yeah, so yesterday Egan had like 40 people virtually. This morning I had 37 people virtually. And this is the time of year where people start falling off the bandwagon of those New Year's resolutions, right? Because they committed to something and back into that squat hold, shake those legs out right back into that squat hold. People get into those New Year's resolutions, they get all excited, they do it for two weeks, almost a month, and then they start giving up. This is the time where our members show us how committed they are. In fact, that they showed up 40 strong yesterday, 37 strong on a Tabata Tuesday, just shows you how committed we have members, how loyal they are to themselves. So commitment means staying loyal to what you said. Up on the toes! you were going to do long after the mood you set it in has left you. So right after, after that nice new shiny feeling of something new has left you, you are still committed to yourself, your goals, that new, better you, healthier you. And if you have trouble with that, you need to choose a why. That why is a resolution, a resolve that keeps you going while you're giving up, while you want to give up. And switch. We got those push-ups. Not face planting. This is your last round. Maybe because I didn't do Jaden's class last time. His class was actually pretty good. It wasn't heavy legs. Oh, I'm making up for um, heavy, Maybe that's not why. heavy legs. Yeah, this is this is a a good leg workout this morning although this is shoulders right now but when I was doing it and time resting when I was doing this warm-up I never felt my legs hurt like doing the, the big hill climbers in the first Tabata all right guys we've got cardio set three exercises three rounds 20 seconds each the first one is going to be a cross jack you're going to reach down with the hand that hand that's forward is a leg that comes forward. So bend at the legs, not at the hip. If you're doing level one, you're stepping it out. You're alternating sides with those hands, don't get confused. And second exercise is gonna be cross climbers. You drop it down into that excellent plank hold, bring the opposite knee to the opposite elbow, keep the weight all the way over the shoulders. Those wrists should be right above the shoulders. Level one, you're stepping it out, still bringing those knees all the way up to the elbows and then finally our third cross exercise is standing bicycles notice my theme on the cardio opposite the knee to opposite bicycles. elbow ah uh, you're crisscrossing i was gonna play crisscross for the yeah. 90s people crisscross oh, will make you jump jump okay guys here we go 20 seconds three rounds cross jacks three two one let's go 
reaching down and all the way up. Level one, you're stepping it out. Round number one, take it nice and slow. Get into a good groove. We're gonna warm that body up. We got three rounds, guys. Each round, we're gonna get progressively faster, more intense. Three, two, one, into that cross climber. Keep those weight right. Keep those wrists right below the shoulders. Keep that weight centered in that core, engage in that core. If you have wrist issues, make that fist. And if you have problems with pushing forward and back, just hold the plank and stay in that plank the whole time. And switch. We got those standing bicycles. You got that hop like Coach Janine, or you got that stepping out like Coach Rose. But because we're stepping out, doesn't mean we get to go any slower. No, we're gonna go just as fast as the hops. In fact, you're not happy, so you actually are more efficient with the movement. And switch back to the stance jacks. Is this round two or round three? Round two, round two. Round two, okay. Five more seconds. Keep on pushing through, guys. Doing good. And switch, dropping it down into those cross climbers. Ten seconds, stay in it. Doing good, guys. In three, two, one, and switch. Standing bicycles, adding in that hop. Keep it going, guys. Beautiful work. You got final ten seconds. Bring it home before our third and final round. We are pushing as hard as we can, getting that body nice and warm and time switching back into those cross jacks alternating that touchdown not hinging at the waist keeping that chest up as you come down working those legs less than five seconds bring it home stay committed stay focused add time switching into those cross climbers now looking up two feet in front of you keeping that back nice and straight if that booty comes up, we smack the booty, keep it down. Five more seconds. You guys got this, doing great. Keep it up, keep it up. No one quits in the last five seconds and time. Switching, standing bicycles, final 20 seconds. Now ask yourself, am I gonna just let these seconds slip away? No, final 10 seconds, let's go, sprint it out. Double time it. Make that switch in your mind. Train that mind just as you do that body. The mind's not gonna get in the way today, no. And time, excellent job. Way to pick up that pace in the last 10 seconds, team. All right, guys, we've got our first Tabata. Tabatas are 20 seconds of a sprint, 10 seconds of recovery. We wanna peak that heart rate and recover in 10 seconds. We got eight rounds, two different exercises. Exercise number one is going to be big hill climber. So from that perfect plank, you're gonna bring the foot up to the hand, one at a time, switching sides, adding in that hop, Level one, you're stepping it out, stepping it back to that plank, stepping it out. No matter what you're doing, level one or level two, this is your hand, this is your foot. Bring the foot all the way up to the hand each and every time, all right guys? Don't be cheating yourselves. You're only cheating yourself if you're cheating. Okay, here we go. Second exercise is going to be knuckle scrapers. Bending at, again at those legs, keeping the back nice and straight and sweeping water out of that boat that is getting flooded or swamped with water. So you can either keep your hands like this, or if you want to visualize an attack, <laughs> use the hands up this way. All right, guys, here we go. Visualize an attack. Ready, big hill climbers, three, two, one. Let's go from that perfect plank, bringing those feet up to the hands. And this one is the one I was talking about that I've never felt my legs hurt while doing big hill climbers until like the third or fourth round of those uh, big hill climbers after doing those knuckle scrapers. Three, two, one, and time, switch. You got 10 seconds of rest, recover. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. In three, two, one, knuckle scrapers, nice and low. Keep that chin up, you should be looking at us the whole time to be sure you're keeping up with Coach Janine and Coach Rose as fast as they are. Good, either adding in that hop level two 
or just staying on those heels and keep on bouncing it out, pulsing it out on level one. Three, two, one, either one. That'll burn, burn, burn. All right, we got round number two or round number three on those big hill climbers. Ready, set, go. Drop it into those big hill climbers and keep it going. Nice job, guys. Keep on pushing through, squeezing that core. Looking good. Good. Keep on fighting through. Doing excellent at time. Woo. You should be sweaty. Three. You should be sweaty. Two. One. Uh, let's go. Knuckle scrapers. That boat is filling up with water. Come on. Scoop out that water. Faster, 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 faster. This is a real small, quick movement. So you should be able to double time it and you really get those legs burning right so much so that time on this next exercise you should feel it in those quads while doing those bay hill climbers ready three two one and let's go bring those feet all the way up to those hands focus on your number for oh, how many reps can you do in 20 seconds Round number one, you're gonna shoot for 15. Round number two, 15. Round number three, 12. Round number four, 10. And time. Way to go. Did that burn your legs? Yeah. Okay, good. It wasn't just me. Ready? Three, two, one. Into those knuckle scrapers. Reaching down, getting that water out. Smaller pulses, keep on adding in that hop. Stay nice and low. Quicker. You go, the faster that water gets out of there. Good. If you need that break, stand up in that two second break and right back into it and resting. Catch your breath in through the nose. Ready in those big hill climbers coming up in three, two, one. And big hill climbers, bring those feet all the way up to the hands. These are the last big hill climbers you're doing today. Here we go. Looking good. Keep on pushing through. Keep on fighting. Commitment means staying loyal to what you said you're gonna do long after the mood you said it in has left you and time. Final 20 seconds. Don't let your mind get in your way. You got these 20 seconds, you're gonna stay in it. Ready, set, and go. Don't stand up, stay in it. You got this, you've got your commitment. You know your why. You're gonna earn that why right now, right here. This is where the rubber hits the road, and this is where you make the magic happen. I am full of <laughs> slogans this morning. And time! Mantras, whatever you guys want to call it. The first class, I was full of puns. Ready, set. Oh wait, that's the end. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. I was trying to give them some bonus rounds. All right, guys. Catch your breath, you get a full minute of rest while we introduce Tabata number two. Second Tabata of the day. Real quick, just 10 fast feet. Get those feet going with one sprawl. Drop it down to the ground and pop it back up, 10 and sprawl. Now if you got problems with counting, I'll count for you in front of the screen. Just go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, down. And if you have uh, level one, you're gonna step those out, stay nice and low in that squat hole, then you're gonna walk out that sprawl, walk it back in, and then you can also do a good squat if you can't get down on the ground because of wrist issues. 10 fast feet and a squat. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, second exercise, hacky sacks. Using those honest arms, bring those ankles all the way up to the hands. We're not bending over, keep the back nice and straight. Level one, you're stepping it out, bring those feet all the way up to the hands. All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> 10 fast feet and sprawl, or fast feet, sprawl. Whenever the mood hits you, to sprawl. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Fast feet and sprawl. Back up, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, nine, ten, sprawl. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 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 ten, sprawl. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, nine, 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 ten, and sprawl. <laughs> Keep it going. Keep on fighting for it. You guys are doing great. Oh yeah, baby. Keep those legs going on time. When those legs start to burn, just keep them 
moving them faster and faster. Fight through the burn. Ready, and three, two, one. And bring those ankles up to the hands, hacky sacks. Stepping it out, or adding in that hop. 10 more seconds, you guys got this. Bring it home, it's that last sprint to the end. No one's gonna stop, you got five more seconds. No one ever quits in the last five seconds. Three, two, one, and now you can rest. Excellent job. First two in the bag, we got six more. Back to the top, let's go. Here we go, in three, two, one fast feet one sprawl 10 and down good just imagine me in the gym right in front of you counting one two three four five six nine nine ten don't let me get your feet right janine no <laughs> janine loves it when i get in front of her and swipes at her feet <laughs> at time. totally not <laughs> Focus on their breathing, guys. Excellent job. Ready, set, and let's go. Bring those feet up to the hands. Squeeze in that core. Excellent job. Good, keep on going. Way to fight through it. You guys are doing great. Woo, gotcha. Keep it moving. Keep it going. Looking good. Three, two, one, and time. You are halfway there. All downhill from now, baby. Back to the top. Ready in three, two, one, ten. Fast feet and a sprawl. Popping it right back up. Way to drop it down as quickly as you can. And way to pop it right back. Even if you're stepping it out, you're you can still step it out at a very rapid pace. And if you're doing a squat, drop it, drop that booty down in that perfect squat. Woo! And time. That timer didn't come fast enough, yeah? Yeah. Alright guys. You got three more rounds, one more minute of work. Ready, set, let's go. Bring those feet up to the hands, add that hop in. How many hacky sacks can you do? Nice job, keep it going. Beautiful work, Warriors. Five more seconds, you guys are doing great. Way to stay committed, way to wake up at six o'clock and time resting. Two more rounds. Last time that you're gonna be doing 10 and sprawl. Ready, set, go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Sprawl. Pop it right back up. Ups and downs, ups and downs. Get that heart rate going. Peaking as high as you can. You are almost done. Make it worth your while. The harder you push right now, the better you feel after the class is done and time. Right now, you're gonna make that switch in your mind. You are not gonna let your mind tell you that you got no more left in you. Once the mind tells you no more, already set, go. We got 70% done. You got 30% more in your body when your mind tells you you cannot push anymore. You can. Yes, you can. You are that little engine that could. I think I can. I know I can. I know I can. Yes, all the way through, all the way to the top of that hill. Three, two, one, and time. Way to go, guys. Way to kill two Tabatas. But we're not done. We've got abs for the end. And then our finishers on Tuesdays are abs. So I'm doing a introduction, warm up abs as your abs. So just two exercises, 20 seconds each. We're gonna do it for three rounds. It's a plank hold, so straight line through the body, lower that, that butt, keep that core engaged. You can widen the base of the feet. Um, and then the second 30 seconds is gonna be going down to the elbows and up. Now, when you come back up, be sure that the wrists are right below the shoulders, right? Okay, level one, drop it down to the knees. Again, keep that butt down, keep the feet off the ground, and don't straight line through the back. All right, guys, here we go. 20, 30 seconds. Why do I keep on saying 20 seconds? Oh no, it is 20 seconds and we have three rounds. All right, guys, here we go. 20 second plank and now challenge yourselves. Can you do this without dropping those knees down to the ground, without taking a break and transitioning between it? Ready, three, two, one, and go. Plank hold, holding that plank hold, keeping those butts down straight line, you are that straight piece of wood from the head to the toe every single muscle in that body is engaged you're keeping those wrists right below the shoulders you got five more seconds in three two one drop it down to the elbow elbow come back up 
and up, widen the base of your feet. Don't let those hips shimmy and rock from side to side. We want to engage that core. Feel free to push back if you got to warm up the shoulders still. This is tough on the shoulders. Way to go, guys. Drop it down to the knees if you need that level one break and switch back to plank hold. Right here, holding that plank. 10 seconds. Can you stay in it for the last 10 seconds? Yes, you can. We don't even have to ask ourselves. Yes. And switch, elevators. Drop it down, elevator, elbow, elbow, back to high plank, back down, widen those feet to keep that base nice and square to the ground. Final five seconds before our final round. In three, two, one, and switch into that plank hold right here. Make it, make it so in the mind and the body will follow. Tell yourself, I got this and you will do it. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Now drop it down to the elbows. Final 20 seconds. Way to fight for it. Warming that core up. Oh yeah, fight on through. Final 10 seconds. What are you gonna do with these last 10 seconds? Are you gonna just let it slip away? Or are you gonna make these buggers count? Make them count, keep it going. And it's time. Way to go, guys. Way to get through that warm up. You guys are like, warm up? Yep. that was a fire up. Yes, there you go. All right, guys. So our finishers for Tuesday is a right side crunch. So you're on the side, your body is all the way on one side. Let me adjust my screen so you can see so Coach Janine getting off that shoulder, keeping the feet off the ground. And now Coach Rosie's gonna do the level one. You can drop the feet, keep the feet on the ground, but you're gonna come up, squeeze up, and then you can also bring the feet, the knees up to, or one knee. Or if you feel comfortable, you can bring both knees up, but when you go back down, you can rest the feet down on the ground. Okay, then the key here is gonna be transition. Transition, you just flip over. Janine's flipping the other way so she can show you what the other side looks. But realistically, the quickest way is to just flip over like Pulehu steak. Yeah, there you go, just flip over on the other side. Just like that. And finally, we got star pulses. Hands above our heads, legs fully extended, and you just pulse. When we Pulehu steak, what don't we do? We don't flip it too many times, right? We only flip twice. Okay guys, keep that head in the neutral. Try not to clench the jaw so that you're not straining on those neck muscles. All right guys, here we go. 30 seconds, three, two, one. Side crunch, let's go. Crunch, bring those elbows all the way up to the knees. Bring those knees past the elbows if you can. Really crunch it up. Extend those legs all the way back out. Don't let the feet touch the ground. And crunch it back in. Level one, you can drop the feet down. But see how many times you can do it without <laughs> dropping the feet down, huh? Almost there. Five more seconds. Looking good. You got this, you got this. Three, two, one. Pull it, he'll stick right over to the other side. Squeeze it in. Nice job. There you go, guys. 20 seconds. Keep on pushing through. See, you guys know what's on my mind, Palejo steak, because I kind of grill in my townhouse because I'm on the second floor and I have a covered lanai and the fire code doesn't allow for even gas grills out there. And switch star pulses. Yes, so I learned that I cannot grill on my lanai. So now I'm bummed. Now I have to go sous vide my steak and then put it on uh, a cast iron pan in the house, which makes just as much smoke as my gas grill. Keep on going, guys! Don't let my Portuguese stars interrupt you. Keep on fighting through. Five more seconds. You guys are doing great. Three, two, one, and switch. Final round, right side crunch. Crunch it in, crunch it in. Push it on through. Don't let these 30 seconds slip away. Make each and every second count. Each and every second is an opportunity for you to better yourself. 
to do one better than you did yesterday. To reach, work harder to get to that why. If you don't have a why, reach out to your coaches. Reach out to any coach and flip over to the opposite side. Those whys will keep you going, keep you committed. Commitment means staying loyal to what you said you were going to do long after the mood you said has left you. So after that bright, shiny new workout is not so shiny anymore and you keep on asking yourself, why am I doing these crunches? Why am I now going to switch it into five seconds into star pulses? Three, two, one, and switch. Star pulses. Why am I not going to let those hands and feet touch the ground? You need that why to keep on pushing, to keep you motivated, to keep you honest. Come on guys, state it. You are warriors. You are committed. Beautiful work, final 10 seconds. No one drops those feet in the last 10 seconds. It's just 10 single seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Way to go, guys. Roll those bodies over, hips down to the mat, arms go nice and straight. Look all the way up to that ceiling. Way to push on through, way to stay committed, way to get here at six o'clock. And if you're pulling this video up later on in the day, excellent job. Even all the more resolve to you for getting it done no matter what. Don't let your daily grind get in the way of your me time. These 30 minutes a day is only 2% of your day. It's not selfish to take 2% of your day and focus totally on you. Nice. Right? Invest in yourself. Even if it's just 2% of the day, it's, it's what you need. It's all what we need for physical as well as mental health. Roll those bodies up. Walk those hands to the feet. Roll the body up nice and slow. Head coming up last to ensure that you don't get dizzy. Stand up nice and tall. <laughs> Let me adjust. <laughs> Stand up nice and tall, Janine. <laughs> Deep breath in, reaching all the way up. And exhale. One more nice, deep, zen like breath. And exhale. Feel that positive energy. Way to kill it 2% of your day. Now go attack that 98% of the day with the same tenacity that you guys did in these last 30 minutes. Hands in, bring it on in. Three, two, one, you are. Relentless. We are. Relentless. We are. Relentless. Have a great day, everybody. Whew. Boom, boom, pow. That was good. <laughs> Have a good day. Daniel Fong said fishers. Good job, Alan. Fishers? Fishers. I think he meant finishers. <laughs> Where to go, Annie?